Hey, what is going on guys? This is Wicked Android HD and I know I haven't been posting for a long time and that was because of the fact that I had a lot of exams to take and to pass of course And but right now I'm back here for you guys and uh, of course I'm back with a strong and very good review about a new OS as far as I'm concerned it is called Flex Operating System Flex OS and I found it on the XDA i9505 section, development section I'll put a link in the description with the thread and I found it very interesting, it's a very small teaser video teaser right there and I found it interesting on how it looks minimalistic minimalistic, how minimalistic it looks um, now I'm into recovery right now running 4.4.2 Two. Never. I'm never gonna be updating to Android Lollipop. It is buggy, and I want just wanna run a stable ROM for daily usage, daily normal usage. Um, so we're into recovery. As far as I read on the XG thread, uh, you will need to wipe before flashing these ROMs. So wipe is a must. But before we proceed to the wiping part I do always recommend making an Android backup in case of your current configuration so in case if something goes wrong you'll be able to return to your current configuration and how do you do that you're into recovering the main screen right here going to mount a uh, story uh, going to backup and restore and then backup either through SD card or SD card 1 depending on what external or internal SD card you you wanna you wanna share with uh, your device in order to make a, a backup so after you've done your backup uh, it's a must wipe so uh, I'm using Fuse Touch and I have this uh, really nice uh, option Fuse Touch Recovery uh, clean to install a new ROM so we're gonna use this and of course after you wiped your device as you may see wiping complete all you need to do is to go into your external or internal SD card in order to flash Flex OS. So as you may see here, I have Flex OS based on 5.1.1 Lollipop. It's an official release for Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, it was released on the 17th of May 2015, of course. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what does this offer to its users. So, yes. We'll skip the MD5 sum checking part. So right now it's flashing. I'm gonna get back to you guys after it re it boots up, and of course after I configure it, or maybe I'll just um, recall the steps in order to configure it, just to show you guys how special it is. So stay tuned. So meanwhile, let's enjoy this beautiful boot animation, flex. OS operating system powered by Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. So, as you may see, I set up a really nice green wallpaper uh, behind my phone just to show you this beautiful interface and uh, this beautiful boot animation we have here. Um, I'm gonna get back to you. I think it's booting up. Yeah. And let's see, you have some lags here. Yes, so Flex OS is is uh, booted up. So as far as I can see, it's not such a big difference from the stock uh, the stock. ASP or CM12 let me change sorry for that let me change the to LTE come on change to LTE man okay sorry sorry for that okay let me turn on the speakers for Christ's sake let's let's connect to Wi-Fi and let's browse why isn't it changing to 3G man I don't want to have this enabled. Okay, so let's open the Wi-Fi. As you may see, we have here quick toggles. 
So I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi network ISF. It's really really smooth. Let me introduce the password. Okay, long password. Saved obtaining IP address and it should say connected, yeah. Have here ROM statistics, enable or disable anonymous uh, anonymous statics stat statistics, sorry. I'm really it's really hard to to read behind the camera, believe me. So let's get the brightness to like this. Well it's blazing fast, but let's browse some apps. Uh let's see what do we have here. So we have the default we have flex control, heads up notifications, these are the ones that pops, these are the ones that pop up right here. You know, for example, when you're browsing WhatsApp and you receive a new message, it will pop up right here, and then you, you'll be able. I'm gonna show you a couple of minutes of uh, what, uh, what is all about it. Status bar. Clock style right, I like it to be in the center. Date style lowercase, I like it very like this, very minimalistic. Color you can change your color like this. Font condensed, yeah, definitely looks more minimalistic. Very status style circle, dot circle text very percentage next to the icon it's very useful just to show you guys how fast it is the berry while doing this review a berry bar location so status bar very bar style center mirrored I really like this tweak I use it also on my 4.4.2 ROM charging animation berry bar color it looks really and uh, really really mini minimalistic and it will also if you want to disable like hidden for example it looks more clear to sh see the barrel like this than having that icon right there in the top right corner so I keep it like this brightness control as always show notification count super user indicator I like to turn this up because it always keeps you it flashing while using root network traffic outgoing and ingoing as you may see there with a small tweak to show you the speed uh, network activity arrows these are the ones that uh, uh, pops uh, up or out while um, pops in or out while uh, transferring data application thicker so we're done with the notification bar notification drawer so you can uh, you're able to show weather but uh, I don't have the location activated so it uh, either way it will be displayed kind of here okay we, we can customize the tiles you can add as many tiles as you want for example uh, we have compass I really I do really think it's the best uh, tweak that you can find you know while um, maybe play music while going on a trip for example and you just need to click this you know to see where you're going you know how accurate 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 this um, compass is but either way it looks cool and uh, yeah show four tiles per row yeah again a cool uh, minimalistic trick to compress the size of this um, notification drawer enable location settings advanced let's see so where is the location okay so if I click now you have this option where you can go to into more settings to um, select what applications uh, should use location informations force expand notifications on all apps vibrate on touch nope recent panel Clear all recent button. Okay, memory bar. This is very interesting. 
Okay, so we have a memory bar right here on the top showing how many how much RAM do we have left for uh, application usage very smooth I will uh, get into that later animation control so fast fade let's select this toast test okay list view I like it to keep it on scale system animations yeah, the default one. As you may see, we have now new list view animations, which looks, they look pretty cool. Either way, app circle bar, you know what this is. Show circle app launcher after touching right side of the screen. So I guess this is the trigger with, yeah, this is the one that you want to take in mind. I don't really like it, so I'll keep it disabled gesture anywhere location left edge or right edge no. so some customizations for those who want to access apps really quick like uh, writing a screen an F for Facebook or what W for WhatsApp and yeah you know what I'm saying um, speaking of performance as far as you can see this phone is behaving really good my phone running this ROM is behaving really fast because as you may see Flex OS 5.21.1 it's an unofficial release but it feels and behaves like a stable one we have lantern I don't know what is lantern I guess it's a yes let's play some music and see oh sorry Fling, hold to drag the float. Oh, damn, damn. Yeah, really unnecessary thing right there. But uh, it looks cool. As you may see the widget here. Let's see the, the lock screen and how it looks. As you may see, pretty, pretty nice. Along with the album art. So, yeah, close it. You can access the notification bar from here. Okay. Um let me check the camera first. Let's see if I'm not in selfie mode. No, I'm not. So let's take a photo for example. Okay, and let's see it. Okay. So this is the photo I took. So just delete it. Okay, a gallery stock apps. By default, I haven't uh, installed the gaps because it uh, ha wasn't recommended on uh, the official thread. But without it, you won't get Google Play Store or any Google services. So it's better to flash some minimal minimalistic gaps or minimal gaps are how uh, they are named. Omni switch, phone, ROM statistics, enable reporting, no preview data, device version. Okay, Flex OS. Um, there was. Let me show you the how fast the task manager looks like. I mean, the recent app panel because it moves and behaves really fast. Um, there was a slightly bug on the lollipop, kind of a big lag while calling somebody for example I'll be, I'll be calling this number and right now as you may see there isn't any kind of lag because it pops up immediately on 5.0.2 there was some kind of lag as you may see it's really smooth animations and it looks pretty pretty sick apart from that uh, let's check out the messaging application okay so Unfortunately, we had a no. So let me introduce my. I had a force close message, but not such a big deal. So hello, I send myself a message with this text hello and see how it looks like.
Come on. Okay, so message received. We see the LED is uh, flashing. And as you may see, what the fuck? Four messages. Why? I have sent only one. So it's flashing this daydream uh, screensaver is flashing in order to show you that uh, you received a message. So let's let me see. Oh, uh, it was that I have called 4.1.415 a lot of times, and yeah, I have also received a call, but uh, yeah. So, I really thought this was a kind of different, different operating system, uh, because it says color OS. Uh, Flex OS, oh yeah, sorry. Flex OS, oh yeah, so I thought it would be a different uh, kind of uh, operating system, but it uh, for a, an ASP ROM it moves and behaves really fast with the stock kernel. I haven't flashed any custom kernel on it. And uh, yeah, if you wanna try it, uh, I suggest it. I recommend it. It's a very good ROM, fast ROM. I can test uh, how, uh, how stable it is because I'm not using uh, this ROM for more than 30 or 40. 40 minutes as as much as uh, as long as I test it and review it so yeah so thanks for watching guys this was wicked android hd and we'll see you soon with another uh, tutorial or review stay tuned bye bye